and also I consider it um a birthday pahabol surprise. Um, that's why uh, I'm very grateful for for um the love uh, na natanggap ko that that night, but really mostly um for the love that I've been getting from Star Magic since I started. Um. Uh, And hindi ko nga, alam ko matagal na ako sa industriya, pero hindi ko alam na 25 years na. It, um, but actually, it's really very humbling uh, na sineselebrate ng mga taong nakapaligid sa'yo yung napakalaking milestone na to. And 25 years, actually, alam ko matagal na ako, pero para sabihin na 25 years, parang that's a different kind of fulfillment um, for me. Um, why I'm really very uh, grateful uh, for this year and surprise. Tapos it um it happened pa sa birth month ko. So, yun. No, 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 perfect timing din. Naging para sa extension ng aking 25 years um celebration in the business. Um and I guess uh 20 ibig sabihin 25 years na sinuportahan ako ng mga tao and tinulungan ako ng mga tao because like what I said hindi naman ako tatagal ng 25 years if it weren't for the people around me and um isa yon yung star magic uh kayo <laughs> na mga nag-aalaga sa amin we were anim kami that were uh, awarded that night but really yung mga tao na you know, um, yung nag-aalaga dun sa anim na yon na binigyan ng award that night, yun actually dapat ang um, pasalamatan. Um, and ako, if I think about it, 25 years in the industry, isang malaking parte nun is my being a dancer. I just feel na parang perfect timing na bumalik ako. Um, and also, hindi ako tinigilan ng mga tiga-asap sa pagtatanong nila if if um, ready na ba akong bumalik, when they, especially when they saw me losing weight, kasi nga, like what I said, it's a, it's a dream, it's a side of me, it's a part of my life na kinailangan ko talikuran because I got diagnosed with hypothyroidism. And so I was um, gaining weight and parang to the point na nagkakaroon ako ng injuries. You know, back, back injury, um, yung right knee ko, nagka-MCL na ako because of my weight. Um, so it was not um, healthy and at the same time, I wasn't fit enough to dance anymore. So I had to let go of that dream. And then it focused na lang ako sa pagiging artista. But ngayon na bumalik ako, ngayon ko lang na-realize, sabi ko ba, now I feel that a part of me is alive again. Like, hindi ko na, hindi ko na, I did not feel the loss. Pero ngayon, Ngayon ko na feel kung gaano kalaking side pala ng aking pagkatao ang pagiging dancer. And so I'm really grateful na hindi ako sinukuan ng mga tiga-asap, um, their questions. Like what I said, nung nag-guest ako sa ASAP ng Sunday, sabi ko yung mga tanong nila Tita Winnie, nila Ate Apple, <laughs> nila Ate Jazz, um, nila Darla, yung mga tao na bubuo ng ASAP, yung mga tanong nila made me ask myself kung kaya ko na ba talaga? Kaya ko ba bumalik? Number one was that. Ay, talaga? Sasayaw ako? Um, pangalawa is, kaya ko pa ba? <laughs> kaya ko pa ba sumayaw? Like, kasi ang sayaw, kailangan, kailangan mo ng disiplina, especially if tumatanda ka na, di ba? When, you were, when I was younger, kaya ko i-juggle yun. I was doing movies, I was doing teleseries, And also, I was doing ASAP. And I've been doing that since I was 13 years old. Eh, 33 na ako. So, oh parang naisip ko, oh, oh, di ba parang, am I even fit enough to, you know, dance again? Parang it's a leap. Leap of faith siya talaga. Eh. Um, actually, ang meron lang talaga ako is lakas ng loob all throughout the years. <laughs> I'm very um, headstrong. Um, So, may mga times na I would, you know, I would, I would doubt myself. Um, but I have to give it to the people around me, especially um, uh, the support of ASAP and 
the confidence of G Force of Teacher Jersel because like what I said, parang ang pagsasayaw is um para siyang paano ko ba sabihin? Para din siyang destiny, just like acting na hindi ako nag-workshop. It's it's our advocacy to, you know, support local and uh, been supporting local. Um, kaya, uh, you know, this is our own little way of somehow helping our kababayans, especially during the pandemic, kasi kami nagsimula. Sa mga tao na kasama natin dito, um, this afternoon, yung mga hindi nakakaalam, this, this business started during the pandemic. Um, so this is a women-led brand, a proudly women-led brand, and, um, uh, I put this up with uh, my childhood friend um, who is uh, now on a professional makeup artist. And um, so parang ang nangyari doon nung, nung pandemic na wala yung wedding industry, diba? So I just asked her if, you know, she was willing to do racket. Lang sabi ko, you know, it would be nice na makapagbigay tayo ng trabaho. Um, sa mga kapwa nating Pilipino. And so we started with the bags. And when we started with the bags, that our bags are made in Bulacan. So, um, nakapagbigay tayo somehow ng trabaho sa mga tiga Bulacan. Um, I did not expect, honestly, I did not expect na lalaki agad yung brand and uh, mag-expand agad yung brand. Um, so from the bags, our clients asked for more. Um, so from the bags, nagkaroon kami na clothes. And yung clothes namin made in Pampanga. Um, and kasabay nung clothes, naglabas rin kami ng footwear kasi nagahanap sila ng sapatos. <laughs> and so yung sapatos namin proudly made in Marikina. Um, so yun. So it's, it's, it's those little, you know, gestures um, namin. And I really believe na because we had good intentions, kaya, kaya talagang parang we felt very supported by the community. Um, and ito na nga ngayon, we are turning to this February. And uh, parang a brand na dapat no, pang pandemic lang, naging isa na talaga siyang brand. And um you know, it was it was actually Derek Lauren who made me realize na na parang parang it's your ano no sa mga parang expression mo like your your parang yung style ng OC as yung kung paano mo express yung sarili mo style. Parang sabi ko oh, nga, no? you know if if you come to think of it, hindi kami nagbebenta ng mga gamit hindi ko kinagamit kami yung nagdo-durability test like this um I'm very particular with the quality like the, the price doesn't have to be um high anyway para maging good quality siya it doesn't have to be imported para mag- maging maganda ang gawa um and also yung partner ko si Nikki Medina yung yung um childhood friend ko nga is also very OC so siya yung quality control queen namin <laughs> Um, it doesn't have to be expensive. Pero pag nakikita mo yung initials mo, pag nakikita mo yung pangalan mo, when it is actually personalized, parang it gives more value to the gift. Kasi nga, parang, ay, ah, talagang parang para sa akin. It's not a gift na nirigalo yes. sa kanya yes. tapos na-recycle. Yung ganun. Um, kasi kita-kita mo na may initials mo. So, it doesn't really have to be you know, expensive, uh, basta maganda yung quality niya. And yun na, parang mas personalized, the better. Well, for me and for our clients. Super agree. At bago humaba ang ating chikahan, tawagin na natin ang ating mga guests who will ask questions. Let's start with Alan Sancon of Stars Potog. Are you here, Alan? Yan. Hello. Alan. Hi, Shaina. Hello. Belated happy birthday. <laughs> And congratulations sa uh, Star Magic Award mo. <laughs> 25 years. So related to 25 years, before I may question to your uh, new business, tanong ko lang kung kung ano kung 
ano ba yung three, best three milestone or highlights of your career? Doon kung i-recall mo yung mga mga pinagdaanan mo bago ka maging siya in na magdaya. Kahit three lang. Ang hirap naman noon, 25 years, isasama ko sa tatlo. But um, I guess yung the first one would be my very first project na wala talaga ako ka-XP experience. Wala rin akong I did not go through any workshops. Um, talagang iyakin lang po akong bata and I'm really very sensitive kaya uh, nagamit natin sa trabaho natin. Uh, that's Lyra, which is uh, which was under um, GMA. So, uh, gaya nga nung sabi ko dun sa post ko na parang I will always be grateful for GMA for discovering me. At six years old, um, parang nagkaroon na sila ng bilib sa aking matabang cheeks at sa matatabang luha ko. <laughs> Kaya binigyan nila ako ng break. Um, and then the second one, ang hirap. It would be, oh wow. I guess it would be, parang ako ba summarize yung 25 years ko sa sa age. But I guess yung mga projects ko nung mag-18 na um, with ABS-CBN na yun, of course. Um, those were, syempre may malay na ako, kumbaga nagising na ako sa katotohanan na, ah, okay, I'm in show business. So, one would be Lobo, that's para nung time na yun, kasi diba nausa yung uh, magpo-post yung mga mga child uh, actors sa isang men's magazine to, you know, to parang express their maturity. Um, ang pinakapakiusap ko kasi nun is, uh, baka naman po pwede hindi ako mag-post uh, sa isang men's magazine. But maybe I can do that through my roles. Parang, uh, like, you know, uh, more mature roles, uh, more mature materials. And, top of my mind agad is Lobo. Because um, I was turning 18 then. Um, and I guess yung pangatlo because I love being in the present moment. Um, it would be now. Now na nag-25 years. It's giving me parang rebirth siya for me. I've always been ano naman, grateful parang kahit na sa mga uncomfortable moments ko in my life, I would always choose to see the good in every situation. And hindi ko ipagkakaila ilang beses ko na gusto mag-quit. Uh, nakikita nyo naman yung uh, na for sure na subaybayan ninyo yung highs and lows ng buhay ko all throughout my career. But Parang this is another kumbaga validation or affirmation na, ah, okay, so I guess I must be somehow doing, I must be doing something right. Kasi nandito pa rin ako um, 25 years na. Um, and yun nga, now that I am healthier, now that I'm more fit, now na um, mas, uh, naayos ko na yung, yung health ko, um, para ako nabubuhayan ulit with this ASAP thing going on na parang I get to express myself hindi lang sa pag-aarte, hindi lang sa mga businesses na pinapasok ko kagaya ng mga chicas, but also because I get to dance again. Um, so itong season na to, this is uh, this is actually a milestone. Sobrang daming kailangan yung celebrate. Sobrang daming reasons to, you know, be grateful for it. Kaya yun, if, if I were to stages ng buhay ko yon but um, lahat yun nangyari for a reason. Lahat yun led me to this present. Thank you, Shaina. Yung second question ko about your OC business, yan, yung organize and uh, chicas. Uh, tanong ko lang kung ano, kung gano'ng kaimportante sa mga katulad ng artista yung ganitong klaseng business. Kasi parang sinasabi nila, uh, yung pag-artist is not ano eh, di ba? Perpetual. Hindi yep. yung matagalan forever. Ikaw, gaano ka-importante sa katulad mong artista na magkaroon ng ganitong klaseng business? And how hands-on you are. Yeah. Parang for 
forever na nga ako sa showbiz. <laughs> Bakit hindi nag-apply sa akin yun? Um, but, uh, ha, um, well, ako, I'm very fortunate na yung pamilya ko ay pamilya ng, uh, well, ng business people talaga, business-minded people. Um, nakuha ko yan sa mga ate ko, especially when they started to steal our family business na hanggang ngayon, nandito pa rin. Um, so parang at a very young age, in-instill na ng parents ko and also my sisters na na yung pera na nakukuha ko for my job, I have to invest it some. Um, because nga, hindi forever ang pagiging artista. <laughs> um, so, doon nagsimula yun. And uh, I would always tell people na you have to save up. Kasi kagaya ng pandemic, hindi natin ex- in-expect na magkakaroon ng pandemia. Um, so, hindi rin talaga rin forever yung industry, di ba? We, everything had to stop. So, you have to save up and gusto mo naman na makita na, na nanganganak din in other ways yung, yung mga pinaghirapan mo. Kasi ito, ano ito eh, uh, produkto to na puyat, ng luha, <laughs> ng pagod. Um, so, so yun. But ako, in my case, I am, I guess I'm very fortunate kasi yung mga nagagawa kong businesses are also my passion project and um, products that I actually use. Um, and so, ito nga, itong OC, na parang, I don't know, I'm very drawn to simplicity. Siguro kasi magulo na ang buhay ng artista, magulo na ang buhay ko. So, um, parang drawn ako sa quality, but it doesn't have to be complicated and, alam mo yun, extravagant. Um, kaya parang ang sinasabi nga namin sa OC is that when you have a tiny space, di ba, pag malinis yung paligid mo, mas makakaisip ka na mabuti. Pag maayos yung bag mo, uh, mas simplify din ang buhay mo kasi, um, yan, less yung mga gamit mo na nawawat. Um, so it's, it's siguro lahat ng mga businesses na ginagawa ko, yun nga, keeping expression siya, na puso yung natalaga ako. And also this um, skincare brand that I invested in, um, yun, because I believe na parang so ko natural lang yung lagi ko ginagamit, especially unstable yung hormones ko. So, ang um, main ingredient nun is PCO. Um, so, yun, leaning towards lifestyle ang um, napuntahan at naging path. Um, so, I actually can say na I don't really feel na nagtatrabaho ako or it's not a burden and I guess that's the good thing with doing something that we love. Um, whether kah- kahit trabaho yan, business yan. Um, kasi dadating talaga ang point na mag-burn out ka, mag-pagod ka. May question mo, ano bang purpose ka? But it's easy to continue and move on and actually evolve and even explore if you love what you're um, so, so yun, that's why I have my babies. Uh, nabibasi ako sa bubble, pero I'm very, like what you said kanina, I'm also very hands-on because, um, dalawa lang naman kami, um, nag-handle ng OC. Uh, bale, ako, I know yung part ko, which is marketing. <laughs> ako yung nakatoka sa mga designs, sa mga talagang ginagamit. Um, pero yung quality control na para na na nag-aaskaso na sa business um, and it's also um, it's also I think an advantage na yung business partner ko is someone that I trust and someone um, someone that I really know and who knows and alam ko na kahit na busy ako kahit na there are times na hindi ako makakasagot we're very aligned so, hindi ako natatakot na iwan din sa kanya yung business. Um, I think those are the key uh, things na sa kailanganin mo para mag-prosper yung isang business na papasukin. 
may before I end, may may, may final question siya ina. Kasi nung the last time we talked to you, parang sabi mo nga you wanna quit showbiz. Tapos, 'di ba, parang you're still here, 'di ba? Parang talagang your life is showbiz. Ngayon ba, kumaga after 25 years, nandun pa din ba yung you want to quit showbiz or you wanna stay na forever in showbiz? Na medyo pa kahit pa sulpot-sulpot, even if you have business, at hindi na ba nami maririnig na I want to quit showbiz from Shaina? Wala na nakailang beses na ako, hindi pa ako nasusunod. <laughs> so, um, kung kailan nga sinabi kong ayoko pa, tsaka naman ako nag-sign ng kontrata. So, you know, it's it's something siguro na na will always be a part of me. Wala, ito na siguro yung mundo ko for maybe meron pang ipinapagawa sa akin. You know, um, there are so many things that are happening na hindi ko in-expect na dapat nga mananaginig na sa US pagkatapos sa probinsyano. <laughs> uh, but uh, ang daming nangyayari and I still have work. Uh, so, parang hindi nyo maririnig sa akin. <laughs> Hopefully. Congratulations, Shaina, to your new business and welcome back to ano to ASAP. And <laughs> congratulations. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Miss Tess. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Maraming salamat. Are you dating daw ba right now? And anong edad mo na? Okay, from bag. Oh, di ba? From bag to personal. Okay. Layo lang nilipad. <laughs> Are you dating now? Um, anong edad mo nakikita ang sarili mo to settle down with the one? Ang tagal ko nang gusto before, sana mag-30. Pero nga, like what I said, lahat ng plano ko, hindi siya natutuloy. Um, I guess, marami pa akong unfinished tasks. <laughs> um, but I actually thought na paglabas ko na Provinciano, I would have the time. And sabi ko, okay, o medyo ready na ako. Kaya lang ito ang nangyayari. Um, so, naka, hindi naman siya nakapause. It's just that siguro may mga kinailangan lang ako gawin. But, you know, we'll get there. And, um, I, when I was younger, sabi ko, ayoko, magkaroon ng distraction. Um, but, I guess if it's the right person, that person won't be a distraction, but an inspiration, di ba? For you to be, you know, a better person sa lahat ng bagay, sa lahat ng aspects ng buhay. Um, so, wala, malalaman nyo rin naman. <laughs> For sure, di ba? I have nothing to hide. And, um, lahat ng, lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay ko naman nalalaman ko. So, time will come. Sasabihin ko rin sa inyo. <laughs> Makikwento ko rin sa inyo. But right now, wala pang certain, you know, person. Like, isang tao, wala. Wala pa. And Shaina, any other uh, things you want to share? Where to avail the products? And uh, any other promotions na pwede nilang i-avail ngayong Christmas season? Well, if you visit our um, Instagram account and our Facebook account, meron kaming mga holiday sales. Um, we have mga bundles, holiday bundles for people na, mama, na mamakyaw. <laughs> Dahil, let's say, isang buong pamilya yung kailangan nilang um, regaluhan. Actually, yung dami namin clients na ganun. Sobrang dami. Parang, ka, ganun ka dami. Ganun ka dami yung orders nila kasi buong pamilya pala bibigyan nila. But of course, we're already very grateful for people na mag-order ng ganong kadami. Um, but yeah, so we have holiday bundles, we have holiday promos. You can check it out on our Instagram page, which is uh, Organized Chicas, in our Facebook account. And um, yeah, our angels will be there. They're on standby to get all your orders and um, answer all your inputs. 